Hi, this video deals with the technique of raising Z plus T in series, how the flaps are raised, how they are transposed and how the suturing is done. I am going to show you Z plus T in series. Z plus T in series is one behind the other, you have got multiple Zs. For instance, if you have got a contracture line A, B, okay, and you are not able to make a single Z like this, you know that they have to be equal, equal size. So since this is about um, 8 centimeters, you need to take another 8 centimeters here at an angle of 60 degrees. But it may not be possible sometimes when there are not enough tissues on either side. So in that situation, you break it up into small Zs of 2 centimeter each. So you got four, 4 Z plasties of 2 centimeter length each. Now the flaps have been raised, the flaps are incised over here, 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 the second one is being incised, the third one is being incised, the fourth flap is being incised. Now when they are incised you need to transpose the flap. Now that the flaps have been raised you need to transpose the flaps. I will show you it with my fingers because it's, uh, the tissue is very soft. It transposes like this. These two flaps transpose. These two flaps are going to transpose here. And these two flaps are going to transpose into this. So now you have a lengthening of the band. Now what is the lengthening you get? You know it is for a 60 degree angle for a single Z you get a 75% increase. Whether you do one single Z with 60 degree angle or multiple Z's in series with 60 degree angle you get only 75% increase. There is no increase in the total length from a Z from a single Z. Now we'll just suture it. Cut. Starting. Yeah. This way now all the suturing is done. Just remember when you're do, su doing the suturing on this on this foam on this practice uh, sponge you need to take a thick bite don't think of approximating the edges like you would do in a real uh, case and just put a gentle suturing so that you don't uh, pull out the suture because the sponge is very uh, soft it tends to cut through yes okay now the whole exercise is for you to be able to understand how the tissues how the tissues move skin moves and where the the forces come from yeah now there's one thing about this uh, um, about this uh, uh, series z plastic that i would like to show you you will note that in a single z you had a very neat suture line but as here you have what is known as a sawtooth pattern you will note that these two edges do not coincide very well okay now this is called the sawtooth pattern this is one of the disadvantages of the Z plus T in series. I hope you liked the video. Click on these links to see more videos about local flaps. These series on local flaps discuss all the local flaps possible in reconstructive surgery starting from the transposition flap, rotation flap, Z plus T, advancement flaps and more. And do subscribe to keep updated on the latest in learning hand surgery.